Welcome back uh, to the next video for you in the Dow of Badass membership area. Uh, this video is entitled The Cut on Strut. This is sort of my one-two punch on how to walk uh, confidently. This is one of the things that for me has been such a game changer. I mean, it's really changed the way that I've been able to attract women remotely when they see me at a distance. Now, there's a few different ways that people walk. Um, I'll tell you the wrong ways first. Uh, they involve a few different areas of your body. It involves your eyes, at eye level, or looking up, or you're looking down, or you're looking at eye level, or you're looking sort of off in the distance. What are you, are you, are you looking left and right, looking at different people? What are you doing with your eyes? Um, that sort of plays into your head too. If you're looking down, if your head is down and you're looking up uh, to look at people in the eyes, um, then that has a different response than if your head is up and you're looking at people in the eyes. Second is going to be your shoulders. So your head and eyes is one, or your shoulders are the next one. Your shoulders, some people walk with your shoulders slightly up, some slightly down, some maybe one up a little bit and they're leaning to one side because of an injury or something like that. Either way, your shoulders are the second component. And the third component, final component, is your gait and your feet. How far do your feet move whenever you walk apart from each other? Some people walk with really small, short steps. Some people walk with very long and long gated steps. Um, so it's important to figure out which kind you naturally do, and we're gonna change that to be a certain other kind because the kind that you naturally do um, most likely is based in your level of confidence and if you have any insecurity it shows in your walk and of course this is something that you want women to see immediately so you have a women do see immediately so you has to be has to be very confident and comfortable and strong uh, so that you build that attraction first again if you go back to the Dow of Badass and you look at the first stage of the system that I put together uh, the system chapter uh, the first stage is introduction that's where you exist for the first time to someone where you didn't before. Now the introduction phase uh, is very, very crucial and most of it happens through body language, through seeing someone sort of walk around or talk or stand or whatever. So um, I'm gonna go over how to have pos uh, uh, not positive, but a confident and dominant body language when you're walking. Um, so first I'll start with the head and eyes. Um, always, always, always keep your head up. Even if you're looking down, look down with your eyes, but don't look down with your head. Right, so this will not work if you're on your cell phone. Most people don't do this with their cell phones. They do this, right? So their head's tilted down and they're looking down and they're doing their thing. So, and you don't wanna do this with your cell phone and look up because it doesn't look right. So when you're texting, assume that you have bad body language. Uh, it's probably not very confident and not very attractive. So keep your head up always and look at eye level. Always look at eye level. Um, don't look down the ground. If you need to see where you're walking, take a quick look and then look up. The ground's not going to change, it's going to be there. Try to remember, and this is one of the harder things for me, is to try to remember what the ground looked like when I was walking. Uh, so keep your head up and keep your eyes focused on the people's eyes that you see. Uh, next, even if they're not looking at you, still look in their, at their face and their eyes in that direction. And don't look down, whatever you do, keep looking up and keep your eyes fixed on them. If they look at you and they catch your eye and you guys are making a strong connection, uh, sometimes people will stop and actually stare at you and just be like kind of in awe. And uh, it's a very, very attractive quality. Next, your shoulders. Uh, always keep your shoulders back and down. You can keep your shoulders rolled forward. Some people do this when they're, when they're walking. Uh, it makes it look like you're trying to hide something. And really what you're doing subconsciously is you're trying to be smaller because you feel like you're not powerful enough and you want to get out of people's way. You're sort of submissive. And we're not gonna do that. We're also not gonna bring our shoulders up like this. This is you to, for you to protect your neck. When we bring our shoulders up, we're trying to protect our neck. We're also trying to be warmer in this area so we can survive. We're in a survival mode. And the difference between bringing your shoulders up and down is this much, watch. So this is down, and this is up. You see the difference? It's a very small difference, but it's very noticeable to everyone else. The way you wanna keep your shoulders is back and down, which is like this. You should feel kind of a tiny pull and your shoulders right here in this area. And uh, the back, when they're back and down, uh, your chest may, may stick out a tiny bit, but not too much. You're not trying to pu puff your chest out. You're just trying to keep it relaxed down, sort of like let the weight of your arms draw your shoulders down. And then you wanna look directly at people in the eyes at eye level and keep your head up. So now we have this part of the body taken care of. From your waist up, it, it represents your power. From your waist down, it represents your sexuality. So when you get to the walk now, this is what's really gonna turn women on from the waist down. So you are going to walk with wide steps, very wide steps. In fact, so far that this is one step, right? So normally people would kind of walk like this. This would be two steps, right? Because it's easier, it's safer that way. 
But instead, I want you to take one step all the way to heel, to your heel, all the way. So you step at least twice as much as you're doing now. So it should kind of be like this, and then you can keep going. So the way this works, and the, and the way that having your wide steps um, helps you, and again, if you need me to shoot another video, I'll just comment below and tell me you want to see me from afar, and I'll show you walking. Um, and that should be pretty easy to, to set up. Your heel should hit first, and it should be stretched out almost all the way. Put all the way out like this, comes down, and then the next one swings out all the way and comes down on the heel again. Now, this walk has given me so much positive response. I know you're going to see immediate an immediate change in the way that women react to you. So go ahead and try it out immediately. Um, comment below with sort of what's happened and, and how your experience has, has gone. And, uh, and I would love to see sort of the, uh, the difference that, that this has made in your confidence and the difference that it's made in your attraction, your ability to, to attract women. So uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, do that from now on. Constantly try to focus on it. And, uh, and obviously comment below as much as you can and, and sort of ask any questions that you might have about it as well. And I'll answer those as much as I can. If you do need to see another video of me from afar, uh, let me know and I'll shoot that and I'll add that as well into this sort of system so you can get the video. All right, thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.